Hi, welcome to Core User Group 2023. My name is Tomasz Berenta. I'm a Chief Architect in Core Networks. And today I will present you this demo about 5G Core Network Slicing, UE Root Selection Policy, URSP in short, and Network Slice Assurance. In some previous demos, we have already demonstrated in detail how DO Center, Nokia's Core Network Slice subnet management function, enables automated 5G core network slice subnet creation, configuration, and provisioning. In another demo, we have introduced UE root selection policy, URSP. And now, in this demo, we will address the demands of both enterprise and consumer network slicing. Firstly, enterprises require fully managed company devices, where device management can specify for each application which network slice is to be used. At the same time, we must make sure that network slice selection works seamlessly for the consumer market. Next, some use cases require that we can modify the QoS when the subscriber enters or leaves a predefined area. And lastly, network slice KPI monitoring is required to ensure that the contracted SLA is fulfilled. The first requirement is addressed with the implementation of UE root selection policy. Then the second one uses a feature which was available already on 4G, but now we have developed in 5G too. This is presence reporting area, PRA in short. And for the last requirement, we will show how network slice assurance uh, works and even take it one step forward and demonstrate closed loop automation. Utilizing these technologies, CSPs can start addressing the enterprise and the consumer market with 5G network slices. So let's take a look at our demo environment. I use a Google Pixel 6 with Android 13 installed. In Android 12, we could already configure one consumer and one enterprise slice. Now, in Android 13, we can configure up to two consumer slices, five enterprise network slices, and one CBS slice besides the default network slice. In our demo, we have two consumer slices. We call them bandwidth optimized and latency optimized slices. Additionally, we have two enterprise slices. Slice five is the communication slice that the company uh, uses for uh, applications such as Microsoft Teams, and it is available across the country, but it also uh, provides a bigger bandwidth when the user is in the fa factory or the campus um, than outside of the factory or this campus. Slice six is the robotic slice, which is only available in the factory. Moving on, we have two radios here. The first one is here behind the TV, and it is configured with tracking area 100 200, 100, 200, and it serves the two consumer slices and uh, enterprise size five. The other radio is here beside me in the isolation box. This is configured with tracking area 100-100, and it serves both uh, consumer and enterprise slices. I will refer to this as a factory from now on. Uh, but it can be a consumer use case, so it could be a stadium or a campus as well. These radios are both connected to our 5G core in Budapest where we have a dedicated UPF instance for the consumer slice and another one for the enterprise slice. So let's look at the policies and rules that we use for our demo in the Nokia policy controller. If you go under the UE policy management, we can here uh, see all the URSP templates that we have configured in our network. And for our demo today, we have the 106, 7, 8, and 9 in use. If you go over to rules and variables, and scroll down to UE session establishment, we can see that we will send 106, 7, 8, and 9 to our test subscriber. If you, if you scroll up to PDU session establishment, then we will see that uh, we have presence reporting area also configured, and then the PCF will subscribe to tracking area 100, 100. If you remember on the previous slide, this was the tracking area of our factory. Scrolling down to QoS management, we will see here how PRA is actually configured. We come to the QoS management when we have a PDU session establishment or modification. 
So here you can see you can see that if there is a PRA change, and that PRA change is either uh, moving out of the area or into the area, and we are on the slice number five, then based on the result that whether we move out or move in, we will change the quality of service for our subscriber. Now let's look at the UE and see how the consumer slices are managed. This is demo application where we can manually change the slice category the application belongs to. By default, the UE connects to the default network slice. And from this menu, I can select either the bandwidth or latency optimized network slices. So let's select the bandwidth optimized and then start our test again. We will see that we have different QoS configured for each. In production networks, users will subscribe to services provided by the network slice, which gets provisioned uh, to the 5G core, and the 5G core updates the configuration of the UE. On the other side, the application developers can select what type of slice their application is preferred to run on. And after that, uh, when the user installs the application, if the specified slice is available, then the UE will set up a PDU session to that slice. Otherwise, it will fall back to the default EMBB slice. Moving on to the enterprise slices, we mapped Firefox to slice number five. So if I update now, refresh now, it is not available because not, we are not in the factory. Then we have Google Chrome, which is mapped to size number five. And uh, we have 30 Mbps downlink because we are outside of the factory. Now, if we move into the factory, let's see what happens. All right. So now we have successfully done a handover and uh, moved to the factory location. If I uh, start the speed test again, in Chrome, which is slice number five, we should see more than 30 Mbps. As you can see, we are around 100 Mbps. If I go to Firefox, you remember we couldn't connect, but now since we have entered the factory area, we can connect to the network slice and uh, we have pretty good bandwidth as well configured. So far I have demonstrated URSP and PRA. Now let's look at network slice assurance. Digital Operations Center is Nokia's core network slice subnet management function, CNSSMF in short. It consists of orchestration center, which is responsible for fulfillment, unified inventory, and assurance center. In this demo, we are going to focus on the assurance center. All the counters, alarms are collected from the core network by NetAct and forwarded to Nokia Assurance Center. In NAC, we can monitor the KPIs of each network slice separately. I will now increase the traffic on one of our network slices so later we can see the KPI degradation. This dashboard shows the load on one of the network slices. We can see here the average number of subscribers, the downlink throughput per user, and the average CPU load on the CMG instance that is serving the network slice. While we wait for the KPI degradation to show up, let's see uh, the thresholder and profiler part of the Nokia Assurance Center. When the network slice was created by the orchestration center, several thresholds were also automatically generated according to the SLA in the request. So, for example, when the downlink throughput uh, per UE KPI degrades under 90%, we will raise a minor alarm, and uh, if it goes below 80%, we will raise a major alarm. Going back to our dashboard, we can see there is a big dip in the throughput, so uh, we will have to take a corrective action here. So looking at the event management, we can see that there is an alarm raised in recently, and an automated recovery action has to be started. Going over to the Kamunda cockpit, 
I refresh the page, we can see that the automated recovery process has already started. We can see that uh, the alarm started uh, this workflow, which analyzes the usage reports and scales out the UPF instance serving the network slice. Recovery actions and related artifacts are created during slice design according to the customer's requirements. Fast forwarding a few minutes, we can see that the KPIs are now normalizing. So the recovery action was successful. As a conclusion, I would like you to remember that URSP enables fully managed and sliced enterprise and consumer devices. Network slice KPI monitoring and closed loop automation are key capabilities which help ensuring sliced SLAs. And most importantly, all of this will be available, available in Q4 this year. These features will help operators to monetize slicing and offer differentiated experience to their consumers. Thank you for your attention.